Right, Tankers is mad and welcome back. Right, someone posted in the comments a couple of days ago. I should watch back one of my older replays and critique myself. Well, I don't need to watch an old replay to critique myself. I make more than enough mistakes right now, which obviously I don't always show you. Um, because, you know, the YouTube channel is normally the highlights of someone's play. Especially on console, because we can't watch other people's replays really easily. So most of the content is dedicated to what the person does themselves, i.e. me in this case. Anyway, so, here's a game where I'm actually doing really well, somehow. Yeah, I'm going to critique myself quite heavily, and I'm sure some of you are actually going to laugh your tits off when you see some of the things you give a, um, some of the things I do in this game. And one person in particular, um, lovely pup, who's actually on the team here, um, he was absolutely laughing his tits off when he saw what I did at the end of this game. And uh, feel free to laugh at me and berate me in the comments. It was funny anyway. Anyway, so here we go. Right. So we're on Himmelsdorf in counter battle. Um, so we go up towards the cap. Why not? Plenty of people up here. Right. So I just auto aim that shot. No problem there because I didn't really want to poke out in that edge anyway. Just get some spots. Um, do have an artillery, so I may have picked up some assist points there. Anyway, so, poke in this corner. Good idea, until that happens. And I'll take some damage, but what the hell, that had to be a high explosive shot. Anyway, so here they come, mediums are going to bum rush, so I need to back off. Just keep firing auto aim in, got a strong turret, so I need to get hold down, backing up. So this is actually good. Um, done a little bit of damage so far. Right. Backing off even further. Pick up a kill. Might have got that bloke caught there. I don't know if he got tracked for me backing into him, which is bad. Anyway, I've played T62A. No chance. Well, I'll say no chance. Right, bat chat. Super important tank. He almost dies, but 100mm gun on this tank. It can roll super low. But one of his own team cop blocks him. And he jinx and I only track him, but this thing reloads so good. Watch this. He's dead. Anyway. So there we go. Two quick kills. Bat chat down. Right, now to work on this E50. I'm not quite hold down enough here. You can see the amount of ground in between my aiming reticle and the bottom of the screen. I need to be a lot more further hold down to uh, guarantee the bounce of my shots here. Right, so there we go. T62A is starting to um, concentrate on me, so go for a side armor and it goes through. So I'm not doing too bad, to be honest, to start this game. And we're winning on tanks, and it's only been three minutes of the game gone. So not too bad at all. A uh, little bit of order aim action from me, but... Right, so I fired that shot anyway. It was never going to pen, and I switched to my heat rounds. And I bounced a heat round off the E100 there. That is one of the good things the 430 is good for. This turret is pretty damn strong. I don't think it's as strong as the uh, 62A, but it's not bad. Right, so E100, if I heat me, I'm going to fire heat back at you. Unfortunately, that hits his gun man. Look, could have spent a little bit more time aiming there. I am worried about him because he's firing heat. If he was firing AP, he'd be a little bit more brave. Right, right, stay and hold down. The enemy's team are starting to pick up some kills now, so we've got to keep shot going. There's another one gone. T-54. I know I've still got heat loaded, but it really wouldn't have made no difference with the T-54. The APCR pen on this tank is uh, more than enough to go through. I'm just losing out some credits and I've switched back. Right, so, I ought to end the shot. T-54 armour is pretty good, so maybe I should be spending more time aiming these shots to guarantee the penetration. Right, here we go. E-100. Hits turret. And there we go. I didn't correct the shot. And I missed the... maybe missed the kill shot on that E-100 there because I didn't correct my aim. I think that's just because I'm old, maybe. My brain doesn't work quite quick enough for the sort of massive onslaught of just pure firepower that the 430 gives you. Well, so here we go, push in on two tier 10 heavies, and I auto aim like a scrub. 
Right, so now I'm trying to hide from the 57 Heavy using the E100, but I mess it up. And I go in, and he stops me getting round him. Fire at his upper plate. I had nowhere else to aim, really. I should have aimed for his turret, actually. So there's a mistake. And he's unloading into me. There we go. Why didn't he finish me off? I was very lucky there. Right, so here we go. Auto aim's all right here for the arse end of a 57 Heavy. He's running away. He's run out of rounds. And now, wait for it. There we go. This is where it all goes completely to sh absolute rat shit. And um, unfortunately, one of my platoon is going to die because I couldn't be asked to aim properly. Right, so I killed the 57 Heavy. The E100 pushing in on, I think it's Wilksy. There we go, E100 rammed him, and I auto aim again. And there we go, there goes Wilksy, because I auto aim that shot. What the hell was I doing using auto aim in that situation? There was absolutely no need for it. Terrible play from me. One of the platoon dies for it. Anyway, quick look at the results. 6,338 damage and 5 kills. Somehow, um, playing like that. But that's the 430 for you. It's just a brilliant tank, especially in close quarters. Um, at mid to long ranges, the gun can be a bit annoying. But at close range, it just spits bullets. And it is great fun. Tier 10 Russian mediums are properly overpowered in my opinion and I love them to bits so why wouldn't you play them right there we go fellas that is me playing at my worst and still managing to pull out top on team on damage and experience <laughs> anyway right give it a like if you did fellas and I'll catch you on Monday see you later